How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I got a pretty cool episode for you guys. For those of you who don't know, about a year ago now I went, I spent a semester in, at UH Hilo before transferring here to UH Manoa. And so I, I made a bunch of friends there of course and uh, you guys probably remember them. Uh, Makana, Kamu, uh, Denver, they're all still over there in Hilo on the Big Island. And so tomorrow I'm gonna catch a flight go to visit them and then hopefully we can get some diving in. Um, they're gonna show me some cool zones that they found since I've left and hopefully we can get on some nice fish and do a little catch and cook in the dorms just like old times, just like we used to do. And um, yeah, that's what this video is gonna be. Um, not too sure what we're gonna shoot. Uh, they, they, they say that their zones are, are pretty mental and that they got all kinds of fish, big omilus, big collies, big moves all this this and that and so we'll see if they're we'll see if they're telling the truth or not but um yeah i'm gonna catch a flight tomorrow and i'll see you guys in the water shoots All right guys, so first drop here on our way out to go check out some deeper water. I spotted a nice group of Kali's swimming in this, over this little ledge here that dropped from like 40 down to maybe 50 feet. And they start coming in here, but they're coming in super fast and I don't really have a chance to line up a shot. And I tried to call them back for a little bit, but they weren't having it and they just dug out of there. And then this small move, kind of comes up to me and I thought about lining up on him but he was a little bit on the smaller side so kind of decided to leave him alone. So after that made it out to the deeper water and so I hit the bottom here this is probably in about 65 feet and to be honest there wasn't much going on in the deeper water I took a few drops um, I think my deepest one was probably around 80 and the whole time never really saw anything crazy no big ukus or moos or yellow spots or anything like that but uh, i took a bunch of drops just in case you know you never know what you're gonna see uh, so here at the bottom grunted a few times now i'm just kind of looking around seeing if anything's coming in and not really too much action that baby i think that was a baby uku that just came in right there but super small way too small to shoot and then this pair of big uhus come swimming next to me and we know a bunch of people on the big island um, especially kamu who has a lot of family on the big island um, we know a bunch of people that love uhu so normally i wouldn't shoot a uhu this deep but i thought why not you know he came right up to me and so i line up here pull the trigger and at first when he first showed up he was so close that if i had a three prong i could have we prompted him, but waited for him to get a little bit further away before pulling the trigger on him. So, nice first fish to start off the dive. Good size uhu, maybe like a three, three and a half pounder. Not a bad one. And also, I wanted to, I was gonna shoot like an opelu or, or something for chum, but this worked out well because I was able to shoot. Uh, this uhu and then I just opened them up chummed the guts and Unfortunately nothing came in which was kind of weird because like I said, I would expect there especially in this depth and um, With the steep drop-off that that was this spot. I mean it doesn't it's not steep right here But 
it goes from like 50 to or sorry 40 to like 65 70 super fast and so i thought for sure there would be some kind of maybe kamanus around or ukus around but no such luck unfortunately but nice first first fish to start off the dive anyway So after that we started making our way back to the inside because we noticed there was way more life on the inside than on the outside and so we stopped in about 50 feet because I spotted a nice group of collies from the surface and one of the challenges of diving at this spot was all that vana that's on the seafloor made it kind of hard to drop and to to actually get comfortable on the bottom. I've been vaunted quite a few times in my life and it's never ever fun. And so I was kind of sketched out about where my legs were going to be, um, where I was dropping and all that, but presented an, in, an interesting challenge for sure. But so you guys saw that nice group of collies come in, but as they got close to me, I realized that they were, they all seemed a little bit on the smaller side. And I could have sworn that when I was on the surface and watching them, I could see one, that, one or two that were actually some of the biggest collies I've ever seen. But I started lining up on this guy anyway because they weren't small. They were maybe one and a half, two pounds. But I was searching for the big one. And I look back, I'm double checking, trying to see if I'm just tripping. But I look over to my right and I see this big guy coming in. And so I line up on this guy. Take my shot and I hit him a little bit low. Not super low, but low enough to where I was a little bit worried. So I, I let him pull that line and then... He actually got stuck for a little bit. That scared me a lot was when he got stuck because now he has the leverage he might need to to rip off. But luckily didn't happen. He didn't rip off. And I was pretty happy that I waited and passed on those smaller collies because this guy came up right after. So I was right. I ended up being right that there was a bigger collie in the school. He was just hanging out way in the back where I couldn't even see him. But luckily he came in and luckily right here he gets unstuck on his own and I didn't have to make another drop for him. But really nice sized collie, like I said, one of the biggest one, one of the biggest mono collies I've ever seen or shot. Um, but yeah, beautiful fish. And once again they've got beautiful colors as well. Yeah, really nice size collie here. Oh, bro. That's a big collie. So we made it all the way back inside to some shallower water. This is maybe around 40 feet, 35, 40 feet. And I spotted a nice moo pile as well as another group of collies. So I hit the bottom here and I started dusting, trying to see if the moos are willing to come in and play a little bit. But they weren't really having it and they were sitting really high up in the water column to the point where you cannot even really see them on camera super well. And so I'm dusting here and I notice that the group of collies is coming in and they were all about the size of the ones that I passed on on the outside. But this time it was a little bit different because I didn't see a bigger one. 
when I was watching them from the surface. And so I figured that these guys were kind of the biggest um, they were gonna get. And so I line up on this one right here. He starts coming in real close. And then I take my shot and secured another beautiful collie. This one was definitely smaller for sure, like noticeably smaller, but still a good size one, maybe a two pounder, one and a half, two pounder. Yeah, another really nice fish, good size Moana collie. And this is more of the size that I'm kind of used to um, shooting at or seeing. Still a good size one. Not a bad collie at all. So super stoked on both of these fish um, to land two collies like that. And after I shot these two Moana collies, I was kind of done diving because that's plenty fish, um, especially because I wasn't going to be there for super long. But after that, I busted out the ski prong because I was shooting at a bunch of toffees. I was seeing random toffee schools inside of holes and saw this taco right here. And once again, the Vana getting in the way because I didn't want to shove my hand in there and grab that taco because there's a Vana sitting right there. But he, the taco swims over to this other hole that was Vana free. So I start poking him out here. And he's being a little bit stubborn and it was hard for me to kind of find the right angle, but eventually I got him, started poking him out and grabbed him right here. So after that, went back to shooting toffees for a little bit before I came across these two tacos sitting right next to each other. So I start poking this one out and I get a hold of him here. Slips out, but I readjusted the grip and got him and then shifted my focus over to his partner here. Start poking him out and then reach in, try and grab him. But he, he didn't even have like a real hole he was kind of just sitting in this little this little lip underneath that coral head. So I kind of just reached in and grabbed him after I missed him the first time. But got this nice little double taco on, on the drop here. And two pretty good size ones as well. They were both around two pounds, maybe two and a half. And this doesn't happen to me every day by any means. I, I hardly ever find uh, doubles like that where it's, there's two tacos sitting right next to each other. So this was pretty sick also to see. from Colorado, he's gonna try Opihi for the very first time. All at once? Yeah, all at once. Thoughts? 
crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't, it's not bad. It doesn't no, taste it's like not. Anything. You gotta try it with the doodoo sack next time. Mmm, <laughs> yum. <laughs> Extra flavor, bro. A little protein mix in. From the dive, that's a nice fish. Three good sized taco got these two ones on the double, and then got these two good sized collies. This is a second one, good size, and then this one was probably one of the biggest ones I ever shot in my life. I never hardly ever see him this big. If I had to guess, he's probably in upper threes, somewhere in that range. But he's like, if you put him next to the Uhu, he's just as big as the Uhu. So, some really nice fish there. Yeah, got some action. I'm gonna give a couple fish to, to Kamu and then. Hi, hi. I'm gonna give a couple fish to Kamu and then probably cook this guy up tomorrow. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Super cool hanging out with the Gila boys again and getting to dive one of their new zones that actually, they were telling the truth, turned out to be pretty good. A um, lot of big collies are on and a big school of moo and all that kind. So it was a super fun dive and we were able to get some really nice fish, have that uh, nice catch and cook in the dorm. We made that, we made that big collie and steamed it, you know, stuffed collie style, and it was super, super good, um, as it always is. But 
yeah, action dive and awesome to to go back and and are awesome and also kind of a trip, super weird to be back um, on the UH Hilo campus, but it was super sick, super fun time, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well, um, and you guys enjoyed the dive like I did, but that's all I got for you guys today. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed, um, but yeah, see you in the next one. Shoot.